Hello everybody, my name is Oprah Oluwa and welcome back to another episode of I Am Positive. If this is your first time, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. If this is not your first time, thank you for coming back. You're amazing. Thank you. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about you equals you. But first, let me tell you what I do on this channel. So basically on this channel, I talk about my journey through HIV, thereby educating people about the virus. Now today I'm going to be talking about you equals you, like I said earlier, in relation to serodiscordant couples. I'm going to explain. Now you equals you is a common terminology in the HIV AIDS world. That means undetectable equals untransmittable. It means if I cannot detect it in your blood, then I cannot transmit it simple now as an hiv as an hiv positive person how do you achieve an undetectable viral load by daily use of your art consistently so for example i use my art every morning oh sorry art means antiretroviral treatments i use it every morning at 5 a.m and i try not to miss it as a matter of fact i has, i have an alarm set as party <laughs> that wakes me up every day or reminds me every day to use my drug at that time now what is ART does is basically to weaken and cage the virus it doesn't kill the virus it simply weakens and cages it such that it doesn't replicate to damage your immune system and that's why you have to consistently use your ART if you use it 5am today try and use it 5am tomorrow why? because you don't want the virus to be resistible to the pill and then it will break away from the cage and then it gets stronger and it can attack your immune system do you understand now let's go back to why we are here you equals you in relation to serial discordant couple now what does a serial discordant couple means it means a partner that is hiv negative and another partner that is hiv positive the reason I'm talking about this is because I posted something on my Instagram in the past week. My Instagram handle is at I am positive 416. If you're not following, follow where um, I talk about you equals you. And then a friend of mine asked the question about oh, couple compatibility of HIV positive and HIV negative couple. And I thought, you know what? I'll talk about this. And luckily for me, I found a research on BMC infectious diseases. Now, this research was done on 246 couples zero discordant couple that means one partner is hiv positive another partner is hiv negative now in all this, in all of these couples the hiv positive partner had achieved an undetectable viral load so what they did was they put them in two different groups group a zero discordant couple the hiv negative partner used uses prep group b zero discordant couple the hiv negative partner does not use prep now let's not forget that both for both patches the hiv positive partner had achieved an undetectable viral load meaning that you cannot transmit now the essence of this um research was to see if the prep was going to for that serve as a form of protection for the hiv negative couple call it your two-factor <laughs> authentication process or authorization or verification process right because the first one is the fact that the hiv positive partner is undetectable the second one now is the prep now prep means pro exposure prophylaxis it means this drug is used by an hiv negative partner who has um sexual contact with an hiv positive partner so you take your pill every day as well there's also pep that's post exposure prophylaxis that is, is used by anybody who thinks or knows that they might have been exposed to hiv right so you're supposed to use it within 72 hours so if you feel like you've been exposed go see your doctor they'll probably prescribe it to you and i, and I think you use it for about a month 28 days or there about anyway let's go back to our research so in this research Couple A, which is the one that uses PrEP, had condomless sex 420 20 times, I think, yeah. And then couple B had 615 condomless sex. At the end of this research, they now checked their status again and then they realized that the HIV negative partner was not infected. So there was no transmission of the virus. Whether you use PrEP, whether you use PrEP or you do not use PrEP, you are not transmitting that virus to your partner. Now, this serves as a lesson to those of us that are living with HIV. You are not using this ART just because of yourself. You are using it again for your loved ones to further protect them because you also don't want to infect them. You want to be a good person. 
<laughs> exactly and if you're hiv negative it also shows you that you shouldn't discriminate and don't let um an hiv positive status stop you from actually finding love and meeting somebody and you know there's, there's no need to stigmatize or be afraid you are going to be good this were condomless sex and it was a research that was done in 246 couples and they were fine exactly <laughs> anyway i hope i've been able to break it down in a way that you understand um let me know if you have any questions in the comment section i'll be i'll be reading you can also follow me on instagram as a matter of fact please follow me on instagram at i am posty 416 send me a dm if you need to discuss anything my email i am posty 416 at gmail.com is also open please reach out to me i'm open to it thank you so much don't forget to subscribe like share and mm, see you next time. <laughs> bye bye. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun.